हेलो चिल्ड्रेन साय राम वेलकम बैक टू आर सोशल स्टडीज क्लास चिल्ड्रेन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद अ न्यू चैप्टर बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू ऑल वन एक्टिविटी ओके चिल्ड्रेन एक्टिविटी इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज यू जस्ट हैव टू रीड अलॉन्ग विथ मी ओके ऑन योर स्क्रीन यर we have few proverbs okay and we all will read it together and we'll try to even understand what are the proverbs about okay and here the question is children you have to identify the name of a person or a personality who had written these all proverbs okay and i'm sure that you know the answer okay so shall we begin with the activity children i already okay so you all will read along with me aloud clear number 1 in a gentle way you can shake the world number 2 be the change that you wish to see in the world number 3 The future depends on what you do today. Number 4. Live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever. Number 5. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. number 6 i will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet number 7 nobody can hurt me without my permission so children we read few proverbs isn't it okay so i'm sure that you have come up with the answer huh okay now i would like to tell you one more thing if you are not ready with the answer then there is a clue for you in our previous chapter that is in chapter number 19 at the end of the chapter we saw that in the year 1915 one political leader returned from south africa to india yes now i think that you are ready with your answer yes so these all proverbs are written by mohandas karamchand gandhi okay so today in our chapter number 20 okay and the name of the chapter is gandhi ji leads the nation so in this chapter we are going to know more about mahatma gandhi okay so what is the name of our chapter children repeat along with me gandhi ji leads the nation okay so children do you know full name of mahatma gandhi the full name of mahatma gandhi is mohandas karamchand gandhi and children when was he born yes you are aware with the answer he was born on 2nd october 1869 When was he born? He was born on second October eighteen sixty nine. Okay, he was married to Kasturba Gandhi. Okay, and he is also known as the father of our nation. Children, in this chapter we are going to know more about Gandhi ji's contribution to the freedom struggle. the rolex acts and the jallianwala bag the non cooperation movement the civil disobedience movement the simon commission and the demand for purna swaraj world war 1 and the quit india movement subhash chandra bose and the indian national army and the last topic here is india becomes free okay so children 
in our today's session we are just going to see only two topics that is the that is gandhi ji's contribution to the freedom struggle and the rolex act and the jallian wala bag massacre okay children we know that after returning to india from south africa in the year 1915 Gandhi ji took leadership of bringing independence to a country okay so gandhi ji travel to various parts of a country and he wanted to know more about the people of the country okay see here in the image he wanted to know more about the people of our country and he really was shocked to see that the people were very very poor and he even saw social evils in the society such as caste system which kept the people of our country divided and backward so he realized that this is the reason why they were not developing so gandhi ji was also very sad to see low caste people who were called as untouchables low caste people who were called as untouchables and these untouchables were treated very badly he realized in order to unify the people of india social evils like this have to be removed and he really worked towards this aim and finally he renamed these untouchables as harijans okay he renamed these untouchables as harijans which means people of god so gandhi ji explained we all are same we all are the children of one god and there is nothing such as dalits untouchables or upper class or middle class lower class etc we all belong to one god and we all are equal and because of this he quickly gained support and respect from all the common people of india okay on the other hand a uh, british came up with the new laws okay that is rolex act and jallian wala bag massacre so children as we all know that after world war 1 british became even more harsher with the indians british even uh, imposed fresh taxes to compensate of the losses which occurred during the world war 1 and they even passed the new set of laws okay the new set of uh, set of laws which suppressed the indian that is they forced the indians to follow this laws and this was the time that gandhi ji has launched his satyagraha movement okay gandhi ji launched his satyagraha movement now children what do you mean by satyagraha satyagraha is a non violent method okay non violent method of protest against any form of injustice so gandhi ji had launched satyagraha movement fine and in the year 1919 the british passed a new law 
okay that is called as rolex act through this act they could arrest anybody without even trials okay they could arrest anybody whether they were guilty or innocent and no questions to be asked at that time so british could arrest anybody without any reason now children because of this gandhi ji asked the people to oppose these laws okay that means to go against these laws which were made by the british and several demonstrations meetings were held all over the country and by then gandhi ji satyagraha movement had millions of followers okay on 13th april 1919 a public meeting was held at jallianwala bag okay on 13th april 1919 a public meeting was held at jallianwala bag which is located at amritsar okay and in this meeting 10000 men women and children assembled okay how many 10000 men women and children assembled there for the meeting and do you know children what happened there something very sad something very terrible in the history of india happened there on the order of general dyer okay on his order here in the picture we can see the image okay general dyer gave the order to the british soldiers to block the gate okay he gave the orders to his soldiers to block the exit gate and do you know children what did they do after this after blocking the exit gate they opened fire for the next 10 minutes at the unarmed crowd okay for the next 10 minutes they started shooting at all the people that is at unarmed crowd unarmed crowd means nobody in the crowd had anything or any kind of weapon to protect themselves or to defend themselves so they just started shooting at all the people inside jallianwala bag now because of this thousands and thousands of people were killed and you know see this is the image thousands and thousands of people were killed and many of them were injured whereas some of them tried to save their lives and they went and jumped into the well that was inside this park and ultimately drawn to their death okay so children this was an incident which took place at jallianwala bag which nearly shocked the entire nation okay the whole of india was really shocked by this and even many british officers were also shocked by this act children because of this dar was forced to resign on march 1920 and unfortunately in july 1920 he was pardoned by house of lords in britain okay so though he had done something unforgivable he was pardoned in 1920 july and 
he was let go okay so children this was the history which happened in jallianwala bag so that's it with our today's session children in our next session we shall learn more about the non cooperation movement the civil disobedience movement and the simon commission and the demand for purna swaraj okay till then do take care of yourself goodbye